To some, it's the sound of progress. To others... I think it's sad and I think um, it wasn't right. It's the sound of loss. A family, a friend, everything. It's a lot. I'm sorry. This is what's left of a large homeless camp along Northeast 33rd Drive. To people like Liz, it was more than just a place to stay. Everybody knew everybody and everybody helped everybody. For weeks, the city of Portland has been preparing to remove the site where people have lived in rundown vehicles for years. And I know it looks like garbage to some people, but to them, that's, their, that's all they got. In the past year, the city did 11 smaller, more focused removals along the street. But this week, everything was cleared. A lot of people lost their homes in your know, uh... Tim Coates lost eight vehicles. He had pointed them out to us one morning last March. I own that gray van right there. I own, uh, this is going to be my truck and my trailer. That van is mine. That Nissan 4 4 is mine. The motorhome is mine. The two vans in front of mine and the motorhome across the street is mine. This week, he admits the site got out of control. Half of the blame is yours because you can't leave a mess and expect to not be kicked out. The city told KGW they did not have the capacity for an interview at this time, but said in an email 39 vehicles were towed as of Monday. They said this camp removal is larger in scope than is typical and required lots of coordination between different bureaus. So it will take several days. Outreach workers have referred 26 people to a shelter. James Michael Rose was one of them. They, they sent me to Tiny Village. They actually called down there and got me set up that I was approved before I went down there, so I feel pretty you know, lucky that I had somewhere to go to. That wasn't the case for everyone. They offered me a tiny home. That was three days before they towed us, and they never got back to me. So turns out during the sweep, many people just moved their RVs about a half mile away to this spot on Argyle Street. There's not really a plan. We're on the run again from Peabot. Like being hunted? <laughs> yeah. It's exactly like being hunted. Leaving some determined to survive on their own. And uh, I've never asked for no help, and I'm not going to ask for help. I'm tough with it. I, 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 I can live with this. Now, once this is all cleared, and again, this is scheduled to last several more days, a Peabot in the Port of Portland plan on posting no parking signs. They hope that will be enough to prevent future vehicle buildup. Seen as a no parking sign legally allows Peabot to tow vehicles much faster without giving as much advance notice. In Northeast Portland, Blair Best, KGW News.